what's up guys this is Froden here um, with you uh, coming with you with a press up tutorial um, how to make characters do um, push up press up whatever you call it I've had different variations but um, the sort of method used for this can sort of um, help you with other animations because um, you'll see later um, and I'll explain it as soon as I get there but yeah, first of all, if you have your rigged model, mine is already rigged, as you can see the bones. But I just hide the bones just so it's easier. What you want to do is you just want to start off with selecting the actual model itself. And you just want to rotate it until it's sort of like angled off the floor as a sort of press up position, like so. So if we do that. Okay, and we'll just sort of move it up to about half of his foot because what we'll do now is we'll bend his feet. Uh, just select both of them at once. Right, in fact, so we select both of his ankles, click the rotate, come on the red. Bearing in mind this blue line is the floor, and then do the foot. Yeah, I'll just do that. Um, you can also if you want just lift his feet higher and have them like you know just position the feet how you want but I just do this um, because I find it easier then what you want to do is you want to select the right hip to the ankle go to character commands create IK chain so we're coming back to the IK chains if you regularly watch my tutorials and then you'll notice that it does make a nice animation actually what you want to do is just make sure the knees are bent backwards a little I do them both together just so because if you have them like that if you create the IK chains it will sort of act like oh, how do you explain it I'll show you actually I'll do it on this knee if they're sort of bending the other way you select the IK chain. If you look, it starts bending the other way, which is not what we want. So, if you make sure both of the knees, just let me get this all set up, just bent back a little bit, um, and then do the IK chains on both of them. And I just want to wait, I've missed one out, the right one. My, that one didn't do it. Just make sure they're done. There we go. Then what you just want to do is you just want to bring them back down to the ground. And then that's the, the leg set. And now for the arms. I think the arms will be alright. So we want to go from the shoulder down to the wrist. Commands create IK chain. Uh, left shoulder to the left wrist. Create IK chain. And what we want to do now is just we want to bring them into sort of like a press up, push up position, which I will start off with doing the left one to about here. I'm sort of pointing it on the points of the grid, which sort of look sort of um you know that sort of looks like press up position from top and then from the side you want to bring them down to about half of the hand again like you did with the foot keeping them both in like sort of proportion like if you know what I mean if I just add a floor so I can see where the hands are falling through okay that'll do um then once we got this, you just want to grab your both your, your wrists, and you just want to rotate them, and just sort of like make it look like he's got his hands on the ground. If you've rigged your fingers, then you can do that as well. I haven't just because I was a bit lazy, um, so I'm just going to do mine really basic here. But it, even if you didn't rig the the fingers, it uh, it wouldn't really matter. But okay. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Then we'll just make sure them right, move these up as you can see. 
Alright, and then we'll want to move these a little bit further down to the ground. And then possibly bring the hands up again further. Just so you want to get it all perfect. That'll do. See, that looks fine. Um, then what you want to do is, as you've got the... Um, this is what I was talking about earlier, about how it will link in. Like, just delete this. These IK chains, like, they, like, uh, if I move his body, which I'll show you, right, is, 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 there, look, his arms should stay at that point, because, sort of, like, where you've, like, set the, like, set these down, here, they sort of stay there, if you know what I mean, I, I can't really explain it, which is, um, which helps, actually, for making a good press-up, because then if you select the root, you can then just bring, push this up and down, and then you've got a press up because his legs and hands are in the same position, which you would have on a normal press up. So what you want to do is you don't want to go too far down because look at his hands, or too far up, sorry, because his hands go funny. So if we say that being the maximum top, um, what you want to do is just want to keyframe the root, not, and I'll just copy this like every. I'll have um. What's it? I'll go like from the time from him from this position to the down position. Um, I'll use 15 frames, so I'll just select this same keyframe every 30 frames, and then I'll come back to 15, and I'll bring him down to about here. Select the keyframe, and I'll copy this one, and then fit this in between. So that's 45 and 75. So then you've got. A nice press up um, animation. And if you really, really need to, like, if your hands are going really bad, what you could do if you really needed to, I mean, I don't know why mine are doing this, because um, when I tried it beforehand, it, the hands were perfectly still, but you can always just, like, keyframe your hands and then do the same thing, go to 30, 60. 90 and when you come to 15 sort of put them back in the place that they were at originally or you can try your best to do that Shit. if you really do need to do it if, if it didn't muck up on you I don't know if that's uh, that's sort of alright so if I just whack them in Let's see the difference between the hands when we play it. Yeah, obviously that one is a little bit more. That one moves a bit more, doesn't it? Let's play it again. So you can do that, and that is how to do a nice press-up animation. Um, really easy, and takes less than five minutes if you know what you're doing. So once you practice a bit, you'd be like, you know, you'd be amazing at it. So um, like and comment. Um, again, post in the comment section if you want to see any tutorials, which could be from anything from editing to 3D animations or whatever. So um, check out the next video when it's out. So peace.